Hello, this week I've been working on my logo and I've given it a new look. It's now the flying plum, a way of seeing. Apart from my online courses about oil painting, the most important thing is observation. And this week I'm going to look at the English oak tree. Hopefully this will inspire you to go and see the world slightly differently. And don't forget to watch to the end because I have a little challenge for you. What am I looking for in an oak tree? Well, first of all, the size. Walking round the tree, I look like some crazed tiny insect. Until I get closer, of course. But that's all to do with perspective. Now walking towards the tree, you can feel the rhythm in my step. But watch how the rhythm is taken over by the tree as its branches sway in the wind and the leaves dance. And when I come underneath the canopy of the tree and look up, it feels like being in a cathedral. Am I looking at the Sistine Chapel? And again, I can feel the rhythm in the branches. But this time, it's not in the way they're moving, more in the way they've been placed. would I paint this tree or draw this tree so that I capture something of it, something that reminds me of this tree, something this tree tells me. Well it's almost as if the tree is talking to me at the moment. As the wind is blowing and it's whispering its memories. And the other thing about trees is they always make me feel safe. And Sometimes I even go up and give them a big hug. So I'm going to do that right now. There. So I'm just thinking about the way the roots of this tree might be going right deep into the ground. Part of it is in darkness and then its branches reach up high into the sky. What you're trying to do is to create the size of it, the volume of the tree. How do you convey that when you're working on a two-dimensional piece of paper or canvas? I'm now walking away from the tree um, and again just to get some idea of the size because one thing about painting trees is getting the proportions right. So you'll often find that a tree is, is wider than it is tall. 
and I think that's definitely the case for this oak tree. So here's the challenge. Next time you go out and you look at a tree, think about some of the things I've said in the video. Observe the tree. You don't have to go and hug it if you don't want to, but then make a sketch of it. If you've liked what you've seen, Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to my YouTube channel, The Flying Plum, A Way of Seeing. And if you'd like more information about my oil painting courses, have a look at the link below in the comments. Until next time, and thank you for watching.